typewriter, but what? He's got a thong. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shortimus Prime here doing another Pacific Rim figure review on the NECA Pacific Rim Kaiju Deluxe Axe Head. If you're trying to get this figure yourself, you can get a big, 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 big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Pretty interesting. We get some new packaging over here as opposed to the clamshell packaging. We get this cardboard packaging with the window box right there. You get a window right over here up at the top. You can see a little bit of design right there in the background. Some water and electricity or whatever. It says concept figure because this kaiju did not show up in the movie. This is a concept design for the Trespasser kaiju. So I think it's pretty ballsy that NECA had went ahead and made this. There's no rating or anything for the category of this kaiju because he didn't appear in the film. And here's all the other kaiju that you can pick up right over there. Anyway, let's get to it and crack this thing open. So here's Axe Head out of the packaging. And to be honest with you, at first I thought this was just going to be a repaint of the Trespasser figure. You know, essentially they're the same character of the film and everything. But they actually did quite a few different things on this to give us some variety in the sculpts. Uh, right away you could tell there are these talons sticking out of his shins right over here. Uh, this back piece is actually completely different from the Trespasser figure. Uh, the crest of the axe itself is actually different. I'll take a closer look at that in a minute. So this is a very cool figure. I like the paint scheme of it. I think it's pretty neat. It's a little interesting thing with all these dots going on over here. But let's take a closer look at this figure. Now one thing I really like about this figure is the color palette. I really like the colors on this figure. It's very photogenic. It looks great. I really like this green and this teal color right there. And his face looks menacing. You get a little bit of gold paint apps right there for the eyes and then some black painted in for the pupils. I think that's really nice. I'm really liking how the teeth came out and the inside of his mouth looks all gross and stuff. Just really like the sculpt on the face even though we've seen this before. Then here's the new crest that we get and we have some little teal dots painted over the green over here. And it's got this rough kind of ridge going on. So looking at this axe head comparison over here, you can see this axe section on both of these figures are completely different in the sculpts. You can see that from the top part of the face, they're totally different. See all the extra wrinkles right there above the teeth? This guy doesn't have as many of those deep wrinkles in there. They look very similar. And then looking at the back of the head over here, he's got two spikes right there. This one has uh, four spikes going on in the back. So it's this top section right here, which is a new sculpt on this guy. And then the bottom jaw is exactly the same along with the tongue. So they have the same tongue. And we're getting the same exact thing as far as sculpt goes on most of the torso. I like these little yellow and orange dots around here though. This looks pretty cool. It's a pretty unique thing, but I like it. It's pretty different and it looks cool. You get this bright blue right over here on these little shingle patterns, which I think looks a little on the strange side. It looks a little out of place, but not too bad. Kind of does go along with the theme. And we get these massive talons sticking out of the shins, which is an interesting design. I think that looks really cool. I like that glossy black paint that they have for it. And these are on there pretty well. It doesn't feel like they're going to come off very easily. Then we get those gaiju toes. I think this is the hand that came from Scunner. It is a different hand that we have on the original Trespasser figure, so you can see the hand differences right there. Now they do have the same exact tails. Oh, Kaiju Kulo! But the back pieces over here are completely different. I really like how this is sculpted and painted over here. We get this broken off piece of bone right over there. Kaiju bone. <coughs> Male potency. I love that part. That was my favorite part of the entire movie. <laughs> As articulation goes, I don't expect anything new. The jaw does move up and down. Uh, the head can move up just a tiny bit, moves down a little bit, shift side to side like that, and it can rotate. Shoulders move outward, they rotate forward. I really wish this body mold could bend more at the elbow. It barely bends over here, and really, it makes posing very difficult, because most of the time, I get him posing, he's like, oh, hug me. It also does rotate at the elbow right over there, and then the wrists are on ball joints, so you could rotate and hinge up and down and everything over there. Uh, you do get a little bit of a waist joint right there, so you can turn them side to side. You do get some pivot, and it does crunch forward and back a little bit at the waist, thrusting kaiju. Uh, he also has rotation on these itty bitty arms, and they do hinge forward and back. And these little hands are on ball joints too, and you can move these all around which way. He has hips that can move outward that much, he can rotate upwards that much. He bends at the knee a little bit, rotates at the knee, angles move down, up, side to side, and that beautiful ankle pivot, and that beautiful bendy tail. Now this accent figure stands at about nine inches tall. And once again, here he is next to the Trespasser figure. Similarities, differences. Once again, similarities, differences. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So again, I think this is a very cool figure. I think NECA's made some very smart moves with changing things up with the sculpt over here to really make it feel like a different figure. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button. Make sure you leave a comment and subscribe. And check out ToyNewsEye.com for the latest in action figure news and a photo gallery of images. Big thanks to them for making this review possible. And don't forget to check out Shardimus Prime net for the daily blog i'll catch you guys later peace
Kaiju Clone Love. Thanks for making it to the end of this video. Yeah, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yep, go ahead and click that damn thing if you haven't already. Or if you already did, check out one of the videos below. I'm sure you haven't seen both of them. Click, 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 click,